This question's easy. Raise your hand if you like champagne and keep it up. Okay, almost everybody, right? You're all, everyone in here, is generally, on average, smarter than most professional athletes, right? <laughs> so why are they never confused about their success? Do these guys look confused to you? Is it unclear whether they had a good season or not? Does Albert Pujols look confused to you? The Boston Red Sox look confused to you? No, because they've effectively defined their champagne moment. For athletes, it's really, really easy. The champagne moment, luckily for everyone, it's very easy for the athletes. The champagne moment is win the title, win the championship. And luckily, it stays the same every single year. They don't have to look at you know, the, the 2013 marketing plan. What's our goal this year, guys? It's always the same for them. It's a little more complicated for marketers, but as we've covered, you guys are smarter than these guys. When the Steelers were trying to stop the Packers in the last drive of last year's Super Bowl, this was not the conversation that was happening. They were trying to stop Aaron Rodgers and go back down the field and score. And luckily for me, they didn't. But Twitter followers and Facebook fans were not going to help them do that. So what do these objectives look like? We heard a little bit about it yesterday. We heard this, this acronym mentioned a few times, SMART. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Actionable, Realistic, and Time-Bound. And that's a lot of big mouthful of words to basically say something should increase or decrease by a certain amount over a period of time. That's, that's all. That's really, really simple. So uh, we'll look, go through a few examples. We want to increase sales on UnderArmor.com by 20% over the next six months. Very, very specific. Just like winning the NBA title, if you execute a program to achieve this, using Under Armour's Google Analytics and their Magento or e-commerce platform, you can easily see whether you achieve this or not. Maybe you've got a new protein bar out, and you want to increase the sales in Whole Foods retail by 30% over the next 12 months. That is a very specific, smart objective, but it's going to take more rigor and more practice and more analytics and tying foot traffic to, um, to purchase sales and everything else. So it's not going to be as easy uh, you know, measuring foot traffic in a Whole Foods as it is to a dot-com, but it is very measurable. Too many marketers throw up their hands and just say, I, I don't know, I can't measure how many people come into the store. So champagne moment is different for everybody. It's different by the type of business. So Southern Hospitality has a very different champagne moment than IBM, right? Under Armour has a different champagne moment than Chevy. Forget social media for five minutes. F pretend it doesn't exist. Rewind your brain to 10 years ago and think about your business and what metrics you want to achieve. Because people want to layer on all this social media stuff. It's like, it's like putting the cart before the horse. They charge ahead without thinking about what they want to achieve. So, you know, it, it's got to go back to, to dollars. Your, these smart objectives we're talking about, it doesn't count if your only smart objective is we want to increase Facebook fans by 10,000. That's good. That can be part of a strategy, and it can be a component to doing it. But somewhere in that, to get to the ROI equation, there's got to be a dollar sign. 